have been nuked. Did you know that? Check out Nuked Radio on UCY.TV Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Rad Chick and Jules. Stay safe, everyone. Hey, YouTube. I wanted to point out a couple of interesting events surrounding Obama's family vacation to Hawaii. And I want to thank Linda Menzies from Facebook. She's a resident of Hawaii and she clued me into this. And what I want to do during this video is number one, show that we are being misled by the White House, that Obama swam in the ocean during this trip. Number two, that Obama's family did very few outdoor activities during the three weeks that they were there little less than three weeks it appears and number three that they left Hawaii early and when you see the rad levels you'll understand why now any of us who have been following the Fukushima disaster probably wouldn't swim in Hawaii either this story came out November 24th and has been confirmed by numerous people on my Facebook page and YouTube that emailed me that have gone scuba diving recently there is a, a new strain of bacteria that's being blamed for fish and turtles having lesions and um, a die-off of Hawaiian coral. The USGS is saying this is truly an unusual event. And there is a video attached to this story of what is going on in the ocean around Hawaii. We also know that Hawaii is starting to get hit with tsunami debris and that's actually been going on for a couple of weeks. There's a picture of Obama swimming that's been widely circulated through all the media outlets. However, I remember this picture from last year, and um, sure enough, if you go to the White House Flickr account, this photograph was actually taken in January of 2012. And the Huffington Post, which ran this picture today, confirms that that during a photographic look back at 2012 a year old photo was released Thursday of President Obama taking a swim in Hawaii on New Year's Day last year. However they're using this picture and not all the news reports are saying that this picture is a year old. I have not been able to find any photographic evidence of Obama or any of his family members swimming during this time. There was a celebrity photographer who took some pictures of his girls on a beach that received a cease and desist order from the White House saying that he could not publish the photos. Now there's a couple of um, inconsistencies about when this vacation actually started and when they were supposed to return. This came from Reuters. They indicated that the president's vacation started Saturday, December 22nd, which would make sense because that's the first day of vacation for the school system. Some reports say that the trip started on the 17th, which would indicate that they would return on Monday the 7th. However, they left Hawaii yesterday, and the reason given was because of heavy rain. Now, if this trip truly did start on the 22nd, that means the family returned four days early. Here's a picture of the rad levels that have been going on in Hawaii. Now this has been going on for a couple of weeks. We've had um, a couple of alarms that went off when it's gone over 100. 100 is alert level for CPMs. 300 is considered hazmat level. And on January 5th, it reached almost 900 CPMs, which is three times hazmat level. So that's when Obama and his family got on Air Force One and bugged out of Hawaii. If you look at the GOES map, this is the band, the water vapor band, which would have dumped that high rad reading. And if any of you followed my fallout forecast reports that I used to do, then you know these water vapor loops are where the highest rads usually fall out. And this band is completely is consistent with that reading of almost 900 CPMs on the 5th. Now during his time in Hawaii he played numerous rounds of golf however the only family outing that's been reported was a hike to a waterfall. The rest of the time they seem to be just eating in really expensive restaurants. 
and of course there's numerous articles about what this family vacation has cost American taxpayers. If any of you have access to um, a web page, like a flight tracker page that would show Air Force One, I would be interested in seeing that to see how they might have avoided the tropopause when he and his family flew back home. Although that's probably uh, confidential information. Also, if you guys don't know this, this White House photographer, Mr. Souza, every president has a photographer that follows them basically 24 7 to do a photo essay of the president's time in office when he's working and when he's on vacation. So where are the pictures of the family swimming that they release every year? Why are we being shown a year old picture? Is it because he didn't swim? I would say based on the fact that we have such a massive die-off going on, that we have tsunami debris coming in, and the fact that uh, CPMs are three times hazmat level, I wouldn't be outside very much either. Be very clear, we do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. 